Good evening, London. Allow me first to apologize for this emergency channel. I do, like many of you, appreciate the comforts of the everyday routine, the security of the familiar, the tranquility, repetition. Bloody hell. I enjoy them as much as any bloke. But in the spirit of commemoration, that, whereby those important events of the past, usually associated with someone's death or the end of some awful bloody struggle, are celebrated with a nice holiday, I thought we could mark this November the 5th a day that is sadly no longer remembered by taking some time out of our daily lives to sit down and have a little chat. There are, of course, those who do not want us to speak. You think? Just let me think. I expect even now orders are being shouted into telephones and men with guns will soon be on their way. It's Chancellor Sutler. Damn it! Why? Because while the truncheon may be used in lieu of conversation, words will always retain their power. Words offer the means to meaning, and for those who will listen, the enunciation of truth. And the truth is, there is something terribly wrong with this country, isn't there? Cruelty and injustice, intolerance and oppression. And where once you had the freedom to object, to think and speak as you saw fit, you now have sensors and systems of surveillance coercing your conformity and selecting your submission. We need cameras. How did this happen? Who's to blame? Well, certainly there are those who are more responsible than others, and they will be held accountable. But again, truth be told, if you're looking for the guilty, you need only look into a mirror. I know why you did it. I know you were afraid. Who wouldn't be? War, terror, disease. There were a myriad of problems which conspired to corrupt your reason and rob you of your common sense. Fear got the best of you, and in your panic, you turned to the now High Chancellor, Adam Sutler. He promised you order, he promised you peace, and all he demanded in return was your silent, obedient consent. Inspector, you're almost through. Last night, I sought to end that silence. Last night, I destroyed the Old Bailey to remind this country of what it has forgotten. More than 400 years ago, a great citizen wished to embed the 5th of November forever in our memory. His hope was to remind the world that fairness, justice, and freedom are more than words. They are perspectives. So if you've seen nothing, if the crimes of this government remain unknown to you, then I would suggest that you allow the 5th of November to pass unmarked. But if you see what I see, if you feel as I feel, and if you would seek as I seek, then I ask you to stand beside me one year from tonight, outside the gates of Parliament, and together we shall give them a 5th of November that shall never, ever be forgotten. I suddenly had this feeling that everything was connected. It's like I could see the whole thing. One long chain of events that stretched all the way back before Lark Hill. I felt like I could see everything that had happened. <laughs> and everything that was going to happen. It was like a perfect pattern laid out in front of me. And I realized that we were all part of it. And all trapped by it. So do you know what's going to happen? No. It was a feeling. But I can guess. There's so much chaos, someone will do something stupid. And when they do, things will turn nasty. And then Sutler will be forced to do the only thing he knows how to do. At which point, all V needs to do is keep his word. And then...
and you didn't disappoint. You let five people die. Then you let Dent take your place. Even to a guy like me, that's cold. Where's Dent? Those mob fools want you gone so they can get back to the way things were. But I know the truth. There's no going back. You've changed things. Forever. Then why do you want to kill me? <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to kill you. What would I do without you? Go back to ripping off mob dealers? No, no. No. No, you. You complete me. You're garbage. You kills for money. Don't talk like one of them. You're not. Even if you'd like to be. To them, you're just a freak. Like me. They need you right now. But when they don't, they'll cast you out. Like a leper. You see, their morals, their code. It's a bad joke. We've dropped at the first sign of trouble. They're only as good as the world allows them to be. I'll show you. When the chips are down, these, uh, these civilized people, they'll eat each other. See, I'm not a monster. I'm just ahead of the curve. Uh, 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 you. You just couldn't let me go, could you? This is what happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object. You truly are incorruptible, aren't you? Huh? You won't kill me out of some misplaced sense of self-righteousness. And I won't kill you because you're just too much fun. <laughs> I think you and I are destined to do this forever. You'll be in a better jail forever. Maybe we could share one. You know, they'll be doubling up the rate this city's inhabitants are losing their minds. This city just showed you that it's full of people ready to believe in good. Until their spirit breaks completely. Until they get a good look at the real Harvey Dent. Huh? And all the heroic things he's done. You didn't think I'd risk losing the battle for Gotham's soul in a fist fight with you. Oh, you need an ace in the hole. Mine's Harvey. What did you do? I took Gotham's white knight, and I brought him down to our level. It wasn't hard. See, madness, as you know, is like gravity. All it takes is a little push. <laughs> oh. <laughs>